Hello everyone, may the force be with you and welcome to another video. I can't actually believe I'm doing this so early in the year, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a 2023 collection room tour video. Um, if you watched my 2022 video that I think I put up in November or so, already so much has changed and I'm always messing around with stuff. Some new things have come in, I've shifted some things, bought some new shelves, things like that. So. There's actually a decent amount's changed since then, so I figured I'm gonna go ahead and do a room tour video. Might do one later this year. We'll see how I feel, I don't really know. I kinda just keep this channel casual and do things when I feel like doing them. And uh, thank you to everyone who subscribes and enjoys this kind of content. I appreciate the fact that we can share something that we enjoy together from wherever you may be. And I think that's so awesome about all this. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and walk down the steps and a little bit of a disclaimer, I am on my phone as always, so hopefully it's not overly shaky, but I'm gonna do the best I can on that. But I'm gonna go ahead and walk down the steps, do a full kind of pan through of the whole room in general, and then we'll go into some of the details. So without further ado, here we go. Here is the Cantina 2023 room tour. Here we have it. So it's our collection room, my wife and I, and it's also our game room slash bar. Uh, it's our cantina. And we do a lot of hanging out down here, a lot of gaming. There's a full bathroom behind one of those doors. Some of the other doors are just storage, things like that. And we have a, we have a lot going on. So we got a mix of stuff. What you'll notice is I, I kind of have a lot of like parts sectioned off. Like I'm really big on symmetry and just the whole displaying of things really is art to me and it's really a freeing kind of feeling. I love just creating. It's, it's just, it's a fun, soothing kind of hobby. And again, this is a lifetime of stuff. Uh, I'm going to be 39 years old this year. My wife just turned 40, so everybody out there who's just getting into the collecting game or as a younger person just know this is this kind of stuff doesn't happen overnight this is decades of slowly buying stuff being smart about it and my big piece of advice to everybody is keep it fun and take your time if you're serious about it and you love it you love star wars you love doing this you have your whole lifetime to collect and design and just have fun with it so don't rush stuff, be responsible, and just let the pieces fall into play. So, yeah, that's about what we got going on. And I'm going to do one more little twirl here. Hopefully everybody's doing okay with this little spin rooney action. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Go over some of the details here. So just like the last room tour video, we're gonna start right by the door or by the stairs rather. So first thing you see when you come down, I have my lightsaber collection. And this has actually grown a lot over time, but I really like the sabers. Uh, they're almost all black series sabers. I do have the Ahsoka Galaxy's Edge ones. Uh, I think they're called legacy sabers. I have the set of those, and outside of that, they're all Black Series, but uh, I got Leia's, I have Luke's, I have Darth Maul's, and yes, I do have both sides. And then, going over here, I have Kylo Ren, I have Darth Vader, I have Emperor Palpatine, I have Count Dooku, Asajj Ventress, Rey, and then the Ahsoka's Sabres. And they fit really well. Um, I love the way these display vertically. I just think that is that's my preferred way of displaying them. And you will see the uh, Galaxy's Edge. The longer blade is actually slightly longer than the Black Series ones. But with that, with Ahsoka's uh, shorter saber that she has, 
it actually kind of brings the symmetry together. So they actually match really well. So just saying the, uh, the longer blade for the Galaxy's Edge is slightly longer than the Black Series blades, but just the way I have it together, I think it's great. And notice the spacing is pretty even. And then I have both Ahsoka's together because again, they're, they're a pair. So they're meant to be viewed as one thing versus two separate sabers. So I'm a really big fan of these. Most of them do have the batteries in them, which I do need to take them out in time because I pretty much keep them displayed. I rarely turn them on and uh, I don't want the batteries to start to corrode and things like that. So those are my sabers that I have. And then over here, this is something new. I've kind of some of my, my top shelf figures is some of my favorite characters. I have Yoda on the top. Uh, Yoda is my favorite character of all time. Um, I'm a coach myself and I just love seeing what I love a lot about Star Wars is the kind of mentor protege interactions and teaching moments that that's always one of the biggest things that's attracted me to the series and Yoda some of his teaching scenes are just so beautiful and he's on Dagobah with Luke I love it so much and that's one of my favorite parts about Star Wars is all that kind of stuff so I have my Yodas on the top and then I have my Padmes I'm a big Padme fan. I think she is way underrated as a character and some of the most elaborate wardrobes in the entire saga. So we always need more Padme figures. So got those up there. And then scrolling down, I actually have the same shelves. Um, they're great. They are one inch thick. So they do not take up much space protruding out from the wall at all. But, uh, this is actually going to be my original 96 Kenner collection, which I am slowly working on. I have maybe 34, 33 or 34 of them overall. And there's enough shelving there to fit all 96 over time. But again, that's going to be a, a slow crawl of a lifetime project. So what I have, these first two shelves are pretty much all original 96 figures. Most of them are complete. Uh, if they're not, they're at least in pretty decent condition. You know, a couple last 17 ones too, which is cool. And then you saw Jin and the Cassian on the right there. And then that and everything under there, just some other three and three quarter figures, just kind of being placeholders for the original Kenner figures. So basically, when I get a new one, um, I remove one of the the newer three and three quarter ones, put it in storage, and replace it with the Kenner one. So, but that's what that's gonna be. Yeah, and just this first little area, and then coming to the shelves over here. So I'm gonna climb up one step and have a seat here. So. I recently went to a con and I finally got to meet Ashley Eckstein. So I did her photo op and an autograph. It was awesome. Uh, super nice as you'd expect, but I'm sure everybody in that moment is super nice. That's what they're supposed to be doing. But she did talk to people and super fun. So there's, there's us. It's a cool little pose because we're awesome and fierce like that. So we did that and then I actually had her uh, fill it out to my wife and I, but she signed my Clone Wars Season 7 Black Series figure. And then this, I kind of got a little thing I thought was a cool idea. It's kind of three of my leading Star Wars ladies, but I have a Dark Side Rey, a Padme, and an Ahsoka. And all three of those, I mean, I love Rey, I love Padme, I love Ahsoka. So all three of those, I actually have a Gentle Giant mini bust, I have a three and three quarter figure, and I have the Black Series figure. So I thought that was a cool little display idea. And no, they did not actually do a Dark Side Ray three and three quarter figure. So that is actually a regular Ray with a Darth Vader cloak rubber banded around her and holding Darth Maul's lightsaber. But it actually goes great. So it's my first and only custom ever, if you will. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it looked really cool and I think that looks awesome. And then over here, I just have a couple dolls um, that Padme my wife got me for Christmas one year so they were like the uh I can't remember if they were called like Galaxy Heroes or something it's like these this mini series 
I can't remember what it was called, but it was this mini series on Disney Plus, but it's some cartoons, some short stories, but they made dolls with them. So I have a Jakku Ray and a, a Padme. And then other coinciding droids. Those are actually the uh, the Disney Elite series, like those diecast droids. But I have a BB-8 and a R2. They aren't scaled perfectly, but they get the point across. So we're uh, I think it's a really cool shelf, and just rearrange that, and just really happy with how all that's going. So hopefully over time I can get. That signed by Daisy Ridley, and if ever, ever, ever the opportunity comes and I can actually get that signed by Natalie Portman, I will do that. But to my understanding, she rarely only signs, and it's pretty much only for charity, is what I've heard. So, eh, one can dream, but we'll see. But I would love to have that to go with Ashley's there. And then this next shelf down, I have a couple little stuffed animals. I got a Jar Jar and a Boba Fett. Um have some of the comic book Black Series figures. And yes, figures are in the boxes. And then I have a C-3PO and a R2-D2 there, another stuffed animal. And then in the middle, kind of made like a little Clone Wars display kind of thing, but I got a bunch of clone troopers. And then we have Padme, Commander Cody, and Ahsoka versus Dooku, Ventress, Grievous, and a bunch of droids. So who would win in this exchange? Time will tell. But yeah, it's just kind of random, but that's what I have going on here. And I just think it looks awesome. That's the first thing you see when you come down the steps. And then below them on the floor, I just have some of my droids, but I have a BB-9E, I have the Lola, I have a Dio and the big BB-8. So that's on the floor there. And then my three Black Series helmets. I absolutely love these things, but I'm pretty much capped with what I can get for these. But I got Vader, I got the regular Stormtrooper, and the Incinerator Trooper. All those are the, the Black Series helmets. And then next to this, this kind of segues into the full Black Series collection, which obviously the Black Series Sabres got some figures, the helmets, and then this is going to go into my main Black Series collection. So I have just one line of like special figures on the wall here, going vertically in the box. But I have the Kenner Kenobi, Clone Wars Grievous, Power of the Force Leia, the Four Lamzuckus situation from the ESB 40 year, the Jar Jar Binks, uh, the greatest credit collection figure ever. The Heavy Mando, the Paz Vizsla, and the, uh, that big box is so cool looking. And then the red box, I actually have, the red and black box, I actually have the first edition and the regular Ray from Triple Force Friday. So, got those there, and then start with up top. Just got some random Black Series stuff, but a speeder bike, a Moloch, uh, got the Swoop from Emphis Nest. A Palpatine in the throne, Ray's speeder, and then I got the Heroes of Endor set, which is so, so cool. And then below that, this is my main Black Series collection. So, 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 so sweet. I love these figures. And no, I'm not the type to put only ones I don't like on the bottom. There, there's some bangers down there. And uh, what you'll probably notice People were always like, why do you have these just with no rhyme or reason, all just wedged in? And I actually do have reasons, to be honest. I I like integrating everything. I love all Star Wars content, all Star Wars everything. And I just love it all mixed together. Um, I think the diversity of stuff is really cool. I try to do a mix of like colors, balancing things out, a mix of humans, droids, aliens, troopers. So I really mix up what I got here and my logic with it is I just like that look and I do that with a few things in my collection which y'all will see pretty soon but uh I feel like when you display it like this it forces people to look at and really take their time on every individual piece because say like an all trooper shelf for example you can just skim right over it so easily and that's cool and all do your thing but when you don't know where the troopers are you really have to hunt to find them so 
I just feel like doing it like this just kind of forces you to really have to look at everything individually and appreciate it. So, but some really, really amazing Black Series figures. Such a great line. I'm going to start on this one on the ground. And then that shelf still working on. So got a few more that can fit in there. And I want to find a place to put the remotes to all these uh, LED strip lights that I use. So I'm going to eventually stick them somewhere. But for now, they're all just kind of sitting in random places. Well, not random, but they're sitting where the lights are to them. Yeah, so just going over all my Black Series. And I use the same brand of strip lights all the way through here. I probably have 76 to 78 of these strips all over this collection room. But I like the fact that the colors are the same when you buy the same brand. And this brand in particular, they're called Hit Lights, but I love the fact that they're individual strips. And the cords and the connectors, you can kind of customize them the length so you can buy extensions. So you're not glued to that one long strip that like real long tape ones. So if I had that, you would see the light all the way through the middle of these shelves, anywhere it connects, you're gonna see that. So I like these because they're just, I think they're 12 inches long, but they're uh, just a lot cleaner. You pay a little more for them, sure. But again, take your time. And then closing out the Black Series, actually, I'm gonna highlight a few series Black Series figures I really love since we're over here. Love the Dooku. So good. I like the Reva a lot. Very good figure. Wrecker is incredible. Big meaty boy, I love that. Clone Commander Obi-Wan is awesome. Saw Guerrera is great. Captain Rex is excellent. The Gamarian Guard is excellent. I actually like the comic Leia quite a bit too. That is an awesome figure. Cobb Vanth is good. Steel Baton Phasma is good. This Luke, this is the uh, Mandalorian Luke. Wow, he is great. He is great. And Migs Mayfeld is really good. Droids Boba, actually, I really like the color on it. I really like the Droids Boba fit. Yeah, Tibidon Station Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't know what it is about that blue, but I love it. Revan's great. And I actually really love this new Chewbacca. I don't know what it is, but I just think that looks awesome. Yeah, very scene specific, but I love that Chewie. Saj Ventress is great. Honestly, the old school one and done episode, maybe two episode armor Mandalorian, I love. That's actually my favorite Mando vintage collection figure as well, that style versus all the best car ones. I don't know why, but I kind of like his old random armor. And then going up, Clone Wars Kenobi is great. Aura Singh is incredible. She was on my top 10 list. Jar Jar Binks is incredible. My other Clone Wars season seven Ahsoka. Commander Bly is great. Some of these newer Andor figures are pretty cool too. Zeb, I really like Zeb. That was not my, and that's my number one. Actually, my number one and my number two right there. The Dagobah Luke with Yoda and Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. Those right there, my two favorite Black Series figures ever followed closely by Empire Strikes Back, Darth Vader. But anyway, I love these so much. Tough to beat them. Wicket's good, I love the Ewoks. Got the DJ Rex down there. Clone Wars Season 7 Maul is great. He was so hyped up and you finally get him and you're just like prepared to be let down because everybody said so many great things. But then you get it and you got him on your shelf for like two weeks and you're just like, yep, yeah, I'm in. He is awesome. 
Mandalorian Ahsoka too. Incredible. That's another great one. So yeah, these are this my main Black Series collection. Again, I just love mixing all Star Wars is celebrated here. And if you don't like all Star Wars, that's cool too. Just don't be negative about it. Don't go out of your way to try to rain on someone else's parade and make them feel bad for liking something you don't. Imagine how we'd all feel if we got no Star Wars, you know? Let people enjoy it and like what you like, but don't be a jerk to people. Life is too short and it's exhausting. So yeah, we celebrate all Star Wars in this household. And then last but not least, I got one last little shelf of my Black Series stuff. And this top one is something I did recently and it's hilarious. Uh, it's all the holiday ones. And again, I'm so sorry this camera worked, but it's all the holiday ones. And I did throw the Kenner colored Greedo in there just because he matches perfectly. So nice green. So he's in there. I do have room for, I think, three more that I'll buy on the next line. And then we got the Wookiees in front and Snoke on a throne has gone holiday. Holding his Rudolph the Red-Nosed Dio. And that's actually the witch hat from the Disney three and three quarter, one of the Halloween droids they made. <laughs> All the Porgs over there, some Boglings, holiday Babu Frick. And I thought that was so funny, so it's... Holiday Snoke on the throne with all the holiday, the holiday troopers hanging out. And then below these, we got everybody's favorite, the Carbonized Collection. <sighs> when they made the first four, just like everybody else, I bought them. I went out of my way to get them. I love them. And I just wish Hasbro knew when to say when sometimes. It would have been cool as one special unique thing. And then they just took it too far. So anyway, I opened some and I kept the ones in the box I liked the best. And then the same thing for the credit collection. I thought it was cool, I thought it was fresh. And then they just took it too far. We didn't need three waves of this. Just my opinion. And, and, but there were some cool figures. And the Ahsoka's cool, all the Mandos are cool. I love that armor and uh, I thought the Bo-Katan was pretty sweet too. So that's my credit collection, my carbonized collection, and my holidays. This is like the little gimmick shelf, but in a weird way, I'm oddly so proud of this. I think it's so funny. <laughs> so I just think it's great. So yeah, that's what we got. Um, you can come sit on Snoke's lap and tell him what you want for the holidays. But this is my Star Wars The Black Series collection. That's kind of the first segment in here. Then scrolling down, if you remember this from last time, I actually had the uh, the Rebel Alliance beanbag from Yogi Bo. Probably the most comfortable chair in our entire house. I have I have fallen asleep on this thing so many times. But Yogi Bo, uh, they're a great company. They make like adult sized beanbag chairs and stuff. And that's actually a little squishy Ewok from them too. But uh, they actually have a Star Wars line. And that's one of the Star Wars blankets from Heroes and Villains. But it has a matching ottoman. So that's a lot of times where I'm chilling when I'm not sitting at the bar down here. And then we're going into a couple posters, actually. And then I'll get into my TVC and the uh, three and three quarter stuff. So I got the idea a while back. Sorry for all this glare. But I got the idea a while back. These were just windows. We have like full size windows in our basement for like a fire escape kind of thing if we ever need it. And uh, with that, I found that like theatrical posters are about the exact size. So I brought the room together by putting a couple couple movie posters in there framed. And Force Awakens and Attack of the Clones are actually two of my favorite Star Wars films ever. Attack of the Clones is my second favorite. Um, Empire is number one. I think Attack of the Clones is two and I would probably say The Force Awakens is three. I have my reasons. Um, We'll talk about that if anybody would like to engage in why. But yeah, so I went with those two. And then we got my three and three quarters. This is my TVC. 
the greatest action figure line of all time, if you're not counting the original Kenner. But they're pretty much the exact same style. These are just modern versions of that. Love them. I keep them in the card backs because I love the look. I think the figure in the card back just looks great. Um, very even. I put them up with the small command hooks. A little bit of a gap in the corner, but that's our, our motion sensor for our security system. And then with that, it did give me a spot where I can at least use the uh, that big Mato Crease Mandalorian one. Which is kind of weird they went with that, but it's fine. But yeah, it goes up there, so that's a little bit of a gap. But outside of that, it's pretty symmetrical. And again, I'll kind of scan through all these. And then highlight a couple of my favorites. And they're even down there too, kind of behind that. And I just love the backdrop behind these figures. I mean, they're three and three quarters all the way through behind there. Just very complete looking. So, that they're all the way through. And then by the bar, wherever I can fit them, they're fit. <laughs> Haven't run out of space yet. Uh, I thought I did like three separate times and I keep figuring it out. So, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if that trend continues, but every collector out there, you know my thoughts on that. I mean, it's just kind of something we all go through. But yeah, so I guess we'll start here and we'll start highlighting some of these really cool ones. That Luke, amazing, love it. A lot of these clone narc troopers, pretty cool. The Star Wars Stormtrooper, can't beat that as an action figure. Sheridan weighs really good too. Cal Kestis is good. I actually just beat the main storyline of Jedi Survivor a couple days ago. Oh my goodness, it's incredible. No spoilers or anything, but it's excellent. Excellent. And the stuff they tie together in it, it's great. They did such a good job. Artillery Stormtroopers, cool. Velsartha is cool. I like the fact that we're getting some Andor stuff. Andor was not my favorite series, though, I will say. I liked it quite a bit, but I think a lot of people would say it's probably their favorite Star Wars series ever. I'm, I'm not one of those people, but I did enjoy it thoroughly. And the main reason why, um, as I talked about before, that like teacher and mentor connection kind of stuff, it didn't really have that. So and I get it. It's a different story. It was so cool seeing a lot of the other stuff going on in the galaxy. It was so awesome. So well done. So I really liked Andor a lot, but again, without that element, there was a piece of it that was just not my cup of tea, which is cool. And I still loved it. I've watched it, I think, three times <laughs> so far. <laughs> so yeah, I, I love it. Yeah, going back to some of these. I do have some room. I can fit some more back there behind the bar, which I'll probably do in time. I'm sorry, I get sidetracked talking about Star Wars, so I'm going to try to get back to highlighting some of the my favorite TVC figures in the cards. Shea Vizsla. Great. And that Wicket card back, I love it. I just wish the Wicket itself was better. He's not the right colors, the figure. So if the figure looked like Wicket actually does on the card back, that'd be my, one of my favorites ever. But it's like 50% off. Carbacks cool figures, eh. Slightly disappointed, but it's good. All the Mandos are great. All Again, all the Arc Troopers are great. I don't need to talk about the 3,000 of them that they've made repainted. Again, the Reva there is pretty good. That Ahsoka may be the best card back of all time. And I really like the Stormtrooper that came with the Carbon Freeze Chamber, too. And that, the Death Trooper. Look at that card back. That is hard. I love it. So cool. The Power Droid is awesome. I love that. Great choice on the purple. Yeah. 
Yeah, TVC is an excellent line. Car backs are so nice. I just got him at the con. Very happy to have him in my collection. That is such a sweet figure. Such a cool card back too. I love the EU stuff. It's cool that they are re-releasing so many of those so far. Be a little annoyed if they do re-release him just with the price I paid for him at the con, but relative to what he goes for, it's still a good price. What I got it for. Boca Tan's good. I just wish the car back was a little brighter. Uh, right there. Maybe the best. Sorry, there's a spotlight up there. Best TVC figure ever, maybe. Maybe one of the best action figures ever. Dark Times, Obi-Wan, or Darth Vader. So good. So, so good. So good. Uh, Ahsoka's good. And again, this glare is unbelievable, but I think we're all getting the point. I don't dislike the Rex. I think it's cool. I'm glad we have them. Yeah, they could have did a new sculpt, but it's fine. I really like the Grogu that came with the Razor Crest. And yeah, I punched it. I don't really care. I punch all my stuff because this is how I display it. So I like that a lot. The card back is awesome. That's my number one. Can't go wrong with that. Return of the Jedi, Jedi Knight, Luke. So him and the uh, Dark Times Vader are my two favorites in TBC. I just got the Clone Trooper from Andor and Admiral Piet. So I was happy to find those at our Walmart. Rise of Skywalker Ray, I really like also. And again, the Tibidon Obi-Wan, I don't know why. But I just love that blue. I like the card back, that's great. The Morik Boba Fett is incredible. And it came with the speeder bike, the Scout Trooper. Wow, that's great. That's a possible top 10 ever for me. I love it. But yeah, some of my, my TVC. And below, I have my loose three and three quarter stuff. Displays, scenes, of everything in my collection, this is probably the most fun I have displaying stuff. I Three and three quarter is the world building scale and just the stuff you can do with it. The possibilities are endless. It's so fun doing stuff like this. I love play sets. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff happening. So I do have a separate video for these, although some stuff has changed. That my Endor display is brand new for a lot of the Return of the Jedi 40 stuff. But yeah, we're just gonna do a little bit of a scan through here. So this is the the Snoke's throne room playset with all my sequel figures. And they're a mix of lines. Some are 5POA, some are TBC. I just mix them all together. For these loose displays, I'm really just about the character. And I even have the Resistance people down there because they fit in that timeline. So yeah, that's the first thing. And then straight down, I have my Endor one. So the ATST, um, I did have to tighten its leg, legs with screwdriver to tighten up the legs because it does fall. And then I actually, I don't know if you can see it, but around there I have a, you know, a little black line. I have a uh, one of those zip ties through the gut, attaching it to the post, which you can't really tell. And yeah, that's holding it up. So anybody wants some advice, that's what I did. So I was just lucky to have a shelf with the posts so I could attach it to it. And I did tighten the uh, screws in the legs with the screwdriver, which do not do too tight they will come through the plastic so it just adds up there and then I got some indoor stuff mix of ATST drivers and some scout troopers the speeder bikes some random Ewoks dominated that guy and then these Ewoks on top the three in the back are actually some of the uh, those little kindergartner play school ones or whatever they're called <laughs> and they had their cool and uh yeah just a bunch of random ewoks 
I'm really happy with that. So that's my Battle of Endor display. And then straight down, you all have seen this before, but this is my kind of Anakin story. Just some random stuff, and I had a good idea, and I kind of just winged it, and it came out great. But, uh, yeah, we kind of have a little Anakin meets Padme situation. They start hanging out. They're doing their thing. They're in the droid factory going through challenges. They fall in love. They get married. But then during that time, a lot of bad stuff happens. Ahsoka, Ahsoka leaves, and then Order 66 happens, and Anakin's losing it. You were the chosen one. And then he becomes reborn as Darth Vader, and then the Empire reigns supreme, but then only his son, who sees himself in him and knows he can never turn, and he must help his dad, and he does. And then we're blessed with the four spirits. So he turns them back. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then through here, we got a little EU slash mostly Shadows of the Empire, but I put Shea Vizsla in there. But yeah, I got Boba Fett ship. We got the Slave One there. We got a Carbonite. They're all trying to get Han and Carbonite. And we got Dash, Shizor, a bunch of the bounty hunters. Everybody's trying to get Han, so that's my kind of Shadows of the Empire display. And this is awesome, too. This is my Cantina, my Navarro Cantina. Super abstract here, but I actually have two of these sets. I got one on sale. So I use the other one as a, a stage for the modal nodes. They're a three-part band now. Yeah, so my vision of this, this is in the sequels era. And this bar is flooded with droids because so many bars in Star Wars are like, no droids, we don't serve you. And nah, we welcome droids. It's a good, happy, inclusive bar. And we got the droids everywhere. So a bunch of random aliens, Ponda Baba's hanging out up to no good. Everybody's jamming out at the show. People are sipping, having a good old time. And Watto and Dexter Jetster. This is their joint. They're holding it down. Watto's taking orders. What do you want? Dexter's trying to keep some order. Everybody's drinking. Where's my drink? We're having a great time. <laughs> I thought that was so fun. See, so yeah, that's my Navarro Cantina. And then up here, I actually have one of my solo displays. This is the uh, Vander Heist one. So I got Han and Chewie up there. And all the characters from Solo, again, mostly three and three quarter. Uh, that Lando is the TVC one. And then we got Maul in the background. But yeah, I was happy to actually have a, a Solo display. It's a good flick. And then the Razor Crest. Amazing. Can't say much more about it. It's the best. I mean, best has labs outside of the uh, sail barge, I think. Sail Barge and the uh, Razor Crest are the two best, best has labs ever of any line. And then all the Mando figures. So basically on this side, I got Moff Gideon and a bunch of troopers with pauldrons, basically. But we got incinerator troopers, sand troopers, regular storm troopers with orange pauldrons. They're all back there. Uh, man, one of them fell. Couldn't take the heat. Ah, it's live TV, folks. You'll never know. But yeah, I want them Sand Trooper down. And then we got some of the main characters here. So they're all under this. And then we got, on this side, it's some Jawas. Piling some stuff off. Uh, we got IG-11. Um, blanking on his name, Quill. Got Quill back there and a bunch of droids. Jawa's trying to sell some stuff off. So that's my Mandalorian display with the Razor Crest. And then a tier down, we got the Tanta V4. And I'm pretty sure 
they confirmed it's pronounced the Tantive E, not the Tantive, right? Because I remember some troll was making fun of me in the comments for calling it Tantive E, but I'm pretty sure they said that's how it's pronounced. But anyway, we got Vader, Stormtroopers busting in, trying to get to Leia, C-3PO and R2-D2 for the plans. So nice and simple. That's my Tantive E, and then we got my Jabba's Palace. This is a great one, too. Everything is so, so mixed in with different lines, different figures. They all go great. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Jabba's got Ula and Leia going on. And then who is that Boosh? Is it Leia or is it actually Boosh? Is Boosh actually a name or is that just the costume? I don't know. But they're all here. Salacious, that's actually a retro collection Boba Fett there. Max Rebo band. And then over here, got my carbon freeze chamber. Got to doctor it up a little bit. So I kind of covered the sides with construction paper, things like that to conceal the LED lighting under there. But when it's all lit up, this thing looks awesome. And again, did some stuff with the legs. Taller, taller legs I didn't even use. I just stuck them in there with some putty so they're standing. Just add some more depth to it. And uh, where the shorter legs would be, they're in the back. And the front is just on the, the shelf by itself. So it actually came out great like that. But got the I Love You, I Know scene. And we got a lot of the Bestman people. Buff Billy D, Lando, Power of the Force 2, Get Some. Yeah, Vader and Bespin Luke. And then this is cool too. This is my Death Star display. So we got the Emperor's Throne Room up here. Vader, some officers. A bunch of troopers. So we have the Royal Guards. I got four of those. Some Death Troopers, some Death Star Gunners. Have the Inquisitors. Get Reva, Fifth Brother, and the Grand Inquisitor. Again, mix of lines. Some Death Troopers back there, a bunch of Stormtroopers. And those panels actually go to the Tanta V. They're supposed to be on the back, but I took them off just to add some more depth to this. And then we got some Shore Troopers, including the uh, carbonized one, which you know, some people are like, well, I can't use it. It doesn't match them. And just use your imagination. He's some crazy special lieutenant or something. I don't know, but he's got that cool shiny armor. So he's like the Phasma of the, the, scout, the Shore Troopers. And then we got Death Star Droid, this little platform thing, and then we got Luke by himself facing down the entire Empire. I love that so much. And it's just something so simple. Really just started as that set, the Emperor and that window and his throne. And I kind of just stitched all this together. I'll stick that back up there. Again, live TV, y'all. <laughs> so yeah that's cool i'm really happy with a lot of these displays getting back up last but not least we have my geonosis battle arena again if there's anything i can wedge in i've wedged in so this is also symbolic of the start of the clone wars so let's attack the clones slash clone wars we've got a lot of the separatists up there you got grievous up there or sings picking people off you got Dirge, a bunch of droids, storming in, Ventress, Jango Fett. And then they're fighting a bunch of Jedi in Padme. And Bo is helping out. Yeah, I love, love this thing. I need a Kiati Mundi in there. That's probably the one Jedi I'm missing that I would like to stick in there, but yeah. So that's my three and three quarter stuff and my TVC stuff. Uh, we're 45 minutes in. So anybody is still watching this and not getting camera shook. I appreciate it so much. But yeah, I have all my carded figures. That's my primary TVC collection. And then I have some loose stuff that I do these little dioramas and scene displays. And I just have so much fun doing this like a little kid. It's, it's a blast. I'm always on the lookout for some random stuff. And that's actually our Galaxy projector light and just kind of projects the sky on the ceiling and stars look super cool there's some different settings 
but it just adds so much to the ambience of this room. So I really am happy with what I've done with the lighting and I feel like lighting along with shelves matching and things like that, it just adds so much to the, the display aspect. Like with a bunch of toys, it can look very, lack of a better phrase, very cheap and just cluttered, or you can make it look very classy and nice. And I try to, I try to keep it a classy approach while still wedging in as much stuff as possible. So again, my wife and I are big into games. Uh, we love board games, we love video games. So we actually have quite a few video game systems down here that we'll talk about. And then we have a card table where we play a lot of board games. So it's actually got the Lego Millennium Falcon, the solo one on it. And uh, we got these cool Battle of Hoth coasters. So I got four of those. There's two on the, the table and then two on the bar. And that's actually a Rise of Skywalker ticket from opening night, which is like a special edition kind of thing. Pretty fun. So anyway, we got three chairs and we have a bench in the back that can fit three. So we can fit six people on this, but we had a really fun time. On Christmas Eve, we played board games till like, yeah, you know, like 12.30 in the morning. And we had so much fun, but uh, had a little get together with some friends. But yeah, this is where we hang out and play games. And then the bar itself, we got these cool Stormtrooper bar stools, which you've seen. They're holding up really well. And then I got a little two-seater bar. And up here with our bar name, we actually have a bar menu. So I actually have some printed out bar menus because I'm sweet like that, that I actually hid for this video because it does have our address on it, which I'm not really sure why I put it on there, but they got descriptions of the drinks, things like that. And people come over, I'll hand them a menu and they get such a kick out of it. But these are our house specials. We accept Imperial credits, or I'm sorry, Republic credits or whatever. Whatever kind of credit you got, we take them. And then we got Food Fun and Sabak, Tuesdays or Twilight Night. And then every Saturday we got the Max Rebo Band Live. So that's our, that's our bar menu. And our Funko Pops are behind the bar. That's the backdrop there. We'll get to that in a second. But first, let's go on top of the bar. So we got this Ahsoka statue, so, so sweet. I love that. Got some of the other Gentle Giant mini busts on the side here. There's some troopers, a Hammerhead, a 501st, Django. And then we got some of our bar stuff. We got our straws, a bunch of our drink making materials there. I'm actually, my wife bought me that set for Christmas this year and it's awesome. It was such a cool surprise. A really good bar set and it's tough to find one that was like a darker wood and not like really bright because again it's all of our stuff is either like an espresso brown or a uh, black so actually finding something that matched perfectly was important so i was really happy about that and then we got the other two battle of hoth coasters and then one of my newest things i got the gentle giant padme statue holy cow absolutely love this thing absolutely love it so that's one of my newer acquisitions so these two statues prime prime spots but they're on the bar love it and then up here i uh, just got a couple little side story posters um kenobi is actually my favorite star wars show to date i loved every second of it and i thought solo was pretty cool and that's actually from the opening night fan event of solo so I got those and then the rest of the TBC and then going behind the bar, um, we do have our bar stuff. So we've got our liquor here and just a lot of the, the standard stuff. Get the house specials or get your club on, but we got yeah, some tequila, some rum, vodka, some whiskey, a couple gins. And then I do have a mini fridge under the bar that has all our beer and some mixers, juices, things like that. And then all of our board games. Like I said, we're big board game people. So all of our board games are under the bar. Er. And then under here, we get into the Funko section. So I've redone all these shelves and all these shelves over here are new, but we'll start from the bottom and work our way up. So these are just kind of some character specific shelves. And some Funko and some random stuff too, but we got a lunchbox, so this is a Yoda shelf. And McDonald's Happy Meal toy. 
that is my favorite scene in the entire saga when Luke can't get the X-Wing out, Yoda lifts it and teaches him such a valuable lesson and uh, I have taken so much from that scene. I just, if you have your mind right, you can attack any heavy challenge in life and we will be confronted with so many of them. So I just thought that was beautiful. But that's, it's my favorite scene in the whole saga. Yoda's my favorite character and got a Yoda shelf, one down, we got a Vader shelf. So again, they're Funko-centric, but I got a lot of other stuff in there, too. Got the Revenge of the Jedi Vader, which is sweet. That big one, that's actually a Lego Darth Vader. You know, Pez Dispenser, another McDonald's Happy Meal toy. Bottom shelf, I got a Boba Fett shelf. Threw the Rancor in there, just because he's in the Book of Boba Fett, but that is from the Return of the Jedi line of Funko, but some figures. We got a goblet back there. Everybody loves Boba Fett. And then this bottom shelf here, I got some of my minis. And then those are actually those three Propel dro drones. I will probably never fly them ever, but they display cool and I got them on sale. So they're back there. This is the only one that's kind of random, but I got my Theater Luke. It's one of my favorite things I've ever had. Got that in 1997. Some of you weren't even born yet. And then just some random Funko ones. And this is an Ahsoka shelf. Who doesn't love Ahsoka? I do. So some random stuff. There's a whole back row empty, but I know we're gonna get a lot of pops for the Ahsoka series. So just some figures. Got her her clones over there. So that's an Ahsoka shelf. And this next one is actually all the Knights of Ren and Kylo Ren and Dark Side Ray. And then going down, I have a Rogue One shelf. Rogue One is super cool. Love the characters in that. And then last but not least on this, they made these like commemorative gold figures. They're pops, they're fine, but I have all those. So they're on the bottom shelf. And then moving over to the last shelf on this area, I have like a little Hoth display going on. Some pops, uh, some figures, some retro figures. That's actually the probe droid from the Disney. Uh, I was on May the 4th in 2020. Um, they had that, but it was a special edition Elite Series for the 40th at ESB. And got the Snowman Darth Vader, which I thought fit in with the Hoth stuff. Can you imagine if there's, during the battle, there's just a bunch of lazy stormtroopers not getting... The snow troopers not getting down on the battle and they're just building a Vader snowman. That'd be me if I ever went to war for the Empire. That's probably what I would do. And then we got a Mandalorian shelf. Again, random stuff, but mostly Funko. Uh, my Aunt Estelle bought me that lunchbox. And then next shelf up, we got a Last Jedi thing, which is cool, but... uh. You got Snoke and then the throne room scene, which is such a cool scene. You got Finn and Rose up there. You got a BB-9 E. You got Poe, Holdo, and Paige. So that was kind of slick. And then I'm going to get up here. And again, I'm so sorry about all this camera stuff. I hope everybody is enjoying this. Oh, yeah, that's this is important, too. Got some napkins for the bar. We got our shot glasses. Yeah, they're Star Wars. We got Salacious Crumb. We got an R2-D2. With our corkscrew, and if you need to borrow some credits, can't afford some drinks, we got some, gotta take a credit system. We got a, our credits here. So if you come down and you're low on money, borrow some credits, pay us back later. And then my main Funko display, just like everything else of the uh, Black Series and the uh, TBC, they're all mixed, all integrated. So I'm gonna go kind of behind the bar so you can see it from the bar area, but all those are on risers, real clean looking. And I got these shelves that I attached to the wall. Dimensions fit perfectly. I love the Funko Pops. I think they're so fun. And uh, yeah, it's just a great backdrop for the bar itself. And it all fit together pretty well. So I'll sit there and just kind of check this stuff out. So we got, again, I'm going to highlight some of my favorite ones here. We got Ula, and Rebels Ahsoka, and Queen Amidala. 
That's the Celebration R2-D2. I love that one. Hera's good. The Kenner-colored Boba Fett is good. I love that Incinerator Trooper. I mean, pretty much all these ones, like, in the middle on these lights are among my favorites. The Aura Sing, Sabine. The Cal Kessis is good. The ben Kenobi, Geonosis Padme. That General Grievous is one of the best they've ever done. The Four Saber Grievous. We got Tarful in there. C-3PO. Emphis Ness is cool. This Darth Maul is really cool. It's got the dark saber and his lightsaber. Got a Pride Stormtrooper. That's actually from Galaxy's Edge, the uh, DJ Rex. Marin from uh, Jedi Fallen Order. We got Slave Leia, Darth Revan. Both really, really sweet. Cad Bane, Clone Wars Cad Bane is awesome. I like the Janna, too. Bastila. <laughs> Autumn Carbonite's pretty sweet. Kanan up there. Got the helmetless uh, Bo-Katan. I love her. Got that Jar Jar. Crate Luke is awesome. Chrysanthemum's awesome. That's a great Lando. My favorite Yoda. The hooded Battlefront 2 Yoda. And I'm going to try to stretch up here. I don't know if you can see it, but this ray is like levitating. Like the first scene you see her in the uh, Rise of Skywalker. I thought that was such a cool thing. And when, it, when it's kind of out of the light, you don't really even see the plastic thing. So it literally looks like she's floating there. But I thought that was a really slick idea. And then I got Frog Lady, which is incredible. Malik is good. Blue Snags. Sabalba. Gamarian Guard. Moff Gideon. Qui-Gon up there. Yeah, Funko Pops are great. If I had to pick my three favorites, <sighs> it's difficult, but I would maybe say Queen Amidala, General Grievous, and Clone Wars Cad Bane, but I don't know. I mean, there's so many. There's so many that are good, but that's what I'm going to say for the scheme of right now, but that yeah, Rebels Ahsoka is great, too. Yeah, I don't think I showed these two up front, so we're going to do that. Do, do. A lot of Funko Pops. And I got room to grow more. So this is the Funko sections, all behind the bar. So that's the bottom. Again, I got some character specific, some theme ones, all the bar stuff. And then all the main ones through here. And this is a bathroom, but I got, uh, again, my leading lady, Star Wars lady pictures. These are all 12 by 18s. So that's a Padme. Array, and I'm trying to find the right Ahsoka to go there. I have not found one yet that I really want to have on the back of this door, but that's what's going to go in that spot. And then here I got those retro figures. I didn't get the Mandalorian one. I don't know. I kind of liked them just being Star Wars or A New Hope, if you will. Well, Star Wars Chase because they do have a Boba Fett, but I don't know. I like them. I think they're cool looking. So I have all those except for the newest, the Mandalorian. So they're on this area. And then I have these droid stamps. Uh, good family friend got me those droid stamps. And then up here I have my clock. And it's actually made out of a vinyl record. I have a Darth Vader Death Star clock. And then a couple of these storage rooms, I have some more movie posters. So I have the Return of the Jedi poster. Again, one of my favorite films. Got a Clone Wars poster. Again, Ahsoka is one of my favorite characters. Ahsoka is one of everybody's favorite characters. But the Clone Wars poster and the Last Jedi poster, which I really enjoyed that movie too. Again, I like everything. And I love the way that looked. But I thought, trying to go back and forth on that was the last poster I bought trying to figure out what I think would look the best. So I had the Clone Wars first. So that's kind of like blue and orange and stuff. Kind of dark, but kind of light. And then I got the Return of the Jedi that's all blue and all dark. 
And I was like, well, it makes sense to complement it with something that's like lighter and red. So that's like white and red. So in my head, it was just like white and red, black and blue. And in the middle, it kind of fuses them together. So that was kind of the logic in choosing these things, what I have displayed. But yeah, and then below the Return of the Jedi, I got the, uh, the first six of the retro collection figures. I'm not super big on these, to be honest, overall. I mean, they're cool, but I'm not gonna buy every line of these ever. But I had the first six Star Wars ones, which was just cool. And then on this door under here, I have a Celebration Darth Vader poster. That was from the Celebration that did not happen because of COVID. But they still sent out some of the merch, so that was nice of them. So I got that Vader poster, got a few little canvases here. Got a Grogu under my Last Jedi poster. And then on this side, I have my Power of the Force 2 figures. So this was kind of the line when I was growing up that I collected as a kid. Uh, these were the red card ones, they called them. Which realistically, the cards are like yellow or orange at best, but they were called red cards. So these were kind of the first run of them were red cards, and then it was all green from there out. But uh, anyway, they were kind of more rare at the time because there were less of them. But then they're all long sabered lightsabers. So the first run of these, the lightsabers were crazy long and then they shortened them. But even the uh, Kenobi I have has the, the long saber. So yeah, I thought that was a fun line. It was cool to see Star Wars back on shelves. So I think Power of the Force 2 is cool. And then over here, my hot toys. Kind of an ongoing theme with these three ladies, but I have the Padme pre-ordered. Then I have the Rise of Skywalker Rey. Unreal. And then the Clone Wars season, season 7 Ahsoka. I recently added her cloak to her, and just the way that it's wired, you can kind of drape it and give it that flowing effect. I messed around with that thing for like an hour and finally got it to where I'm so happy with it. But these are my two hot toys. And I am going to have the Padme added when she comes out next year. I, I love these things. Can't say enough about Hot Toys. They are incredible pieces of art. And then we got our TV. And my Legos. And some books. I don't have a ton of Lego. I mean, I'm kind of capped on them. Uh... I like them, they're cool, but they're fun doing them. Just a mix of Lego stuff. I'm just kind of show you some of the things I got real quick. We're an hour in, so I'm gonna try to keep it moving along. So just a lot of Lego stuff. And I don't really have these lit up because I don't wanna have too much light interrupting the TV. So I kind of have some strip lights in the back to light up behind it. And then I got my books. Uh, I actually got that signed by E.K. Johnston, which I was really happy to meet her. She is so cool. And I found out she shares my love of Attack of the Clones, which I was really happy to, to learn. <laughs> so Lego stuff's there in our video game system. So down here we have a, we have an Xbox One and Nintendo Switch a Sega Genesis and a Nintendo 64, which I'm actually working on a Shadows of the Empire playthrough. So my wife and I, again, we're big game people, so we do our video games, all those little drawers, got controllers, video games in there. So we got four systems down here. We do have a 360, but that's just basically just sitting there. It's not even hooked up. And that is actually it. So we're just over an hour, so that's not too bad. But this is my Star Wars collection room tour. Hopefully YouTube lets you put up a video this long. If it cuts it short, I'm gonna be a little annoyed, but it is what it is. So thank you everybody for actually watching this. Hopefully the camera wasn't overly shaky. I know I've said that a thousand times, but this is my 2023 collection room tour. I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed doing it and I could talk this stuff forever and I just love showing this off. But again, it's just such a fun hobby for me and gets me away from life. It takes me back to when life was simple.
You're sitting in a room enjoying toys. What's better than that, you know? Very freeing. So this is what we got going on. And thank you so much. May the force be with you.